they are categorized into simple asphyxiants and chemical asphyxiants. Simple asphyxiants are physiologically inert gases that displace oxygen from the air resulting in fall of partial pressure of oxygen in the alveoli. Examples are acetylene, carbon dioxide, helium, ethane, nitrogen, methane, etc. Chemical asphyxiants, they interfere with the transportation or absorption of oxygen in the body and interfere with the cellular metabolism causing cells to become oxygen starved. It can be irritant gases, it causes destruction of the integrity of the mucosal barrier of the respiratory tract, example ammonia, hydrogen sulfide gas, phosgene gas, etc. Systemic asphyxiants, they produce systematic toxicity by various mechanisms. Examples are carbon monoxide, cyanide, etc. The brain is commonly affected. Now coming to hydrogen cyanide. Hydrogen cyanide, that is SCN, is a highly toxic chemical. Pure acid is a colorless gas with bitter almond smell. Remember, it has got a bitter almond odor. All persons cannot smell this gas and the ability to detect is sex linked recessive trait. Hydrocyanic acid is a solution of SCN in water either 2% or 4%. 4% hydrogen cyanide is known as prussic acid or cyanogen is a solution which is also called as Shields acid. Cyanides of potassium or sodium they are white powders. Found in many fruits, seeds and leaves such as bitter almond they are slightly broader and shorter than the sweet almond, apricot, apple, cherry and plum. Exists in the form of a glucoside amygdalin, which is a harmless chemical but usually coexists with a group of enzyme which is known as the emulsion complex which hydrolyzes and liberate SCN. SCN acid is liberated by acting with acid, example the SCL that is there in the stomach. Cyanides may become less effective if the person suffers from achlorhydria that is in a condition where the hydrochloric acid is not there. Since SCL acts on cyanides to liberate SCN that is hydrocyanic acid. How it acts? It is a protoplasmic cytotoxic poison. It acts by blocking the oxidative phosphorylation and prevents the formation of ATP resulting in the arrest of aerobic metabolism and death from histotoxic anoxia. It also acts as a corrosive on the mucosa. So it causes cyanide causes histotoxic anoxia. Remember sometimes ask in your MCQs. Absorption, the cyanide gas is absorbed from the respiratory tract and the acid and the cyanide salts from the stomach. Acid is also absorbed from the skin. Now, what are the signs and symptoms in case of cyanide poisoning? This is the most rapid of all poisons. When inhaled as a gas, its action is instantaneous. If a large dose is taken, symptoms appear at once. But if in some cases, symptoms appear about a minute, during which the victim may perform certain voluntary acts, such as throwing away the bottle or walking away.